Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how vaccination can prevent illness in an individual. You should then be able to describe how vaccination can prevent the spread of pathogens in a population. In the last video we looked at the immune system. We saw that one of the roles of white blood cells is to produce antibodies against pathogens. So this white blood cell is producing antibodies against a pathogen which has entered the body. Remember that antibodies stick to the pathogens and this triggers the pathogen to be destroyed. In this video we're looking at how vaccinations can prevent illness, so let's get started. Now in the UK we're vaccinated against a range of different diseases when we're young. You need to be able to describe how vaccines work. Vaccination involves introducing small quantities of dead or inactive forms of a pathogen into the body. So here I'm showing you a white blood cell and the dead or inactive form of the pathogen in the vaccination. Now a key point is that because the pathogen is dead or inactive, it cannot lead to the disease in the patient. The white blood cells are now stimulated to produce antibodies against the dead or inactive pathogen, and we can see the antibodies here. At the same time, the white blood cell divides by mitosis to produce lots of copies of itself like this. Now these copies of the white blood cell can stay in the blood for decades. If the same pathogen now enters the body, even years later, the white blood cells can produce the correct antibodies quickly, and this prevents infection. So as you can see, vaccines directly protect us from infection by pathogens. This graph shows you the level of the antibody after vaccination and after the body's invaded by the real pathogen. As you can see, when the real pathogen invades, the antibody number rises very quickly and to a very high level, and that's due to the vaccination. Now, it's really important that a very large number of people are vaccinated against pathogens. I'm showing vaccinated people in green here. The reason for this is that there are always some people who do not get vaccinated. For example, people who may be new to a country, or people who missed their vaccination appointment. I'm showing the unvaccinated person in red. Now, if enough people are vaccinated, this also protects unvaccinated people. The person shown in red has not been vaccinated, but every person near them has. That means that the unvaccinated person cannot catch the disease because no one around them can pass the pathogen on. Scientists call this herd immunity. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on vaccination in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how vaccination can prevent illness in an individual. You should then be able to describe how vaccination can prevent the spread of pathogens in a population.